Hey everyone, it's Jamie Palmer here, and I am super excited today to walk you through how to build a warm audience on Facebook. So one of the things that people often ask me is, well, what's a warm audience? This is something you probably heard a lot of marketing and Facebook ad specialists talk about over and over and over again. And a warm audience is someone who has interacted with your brand or business in some way, shape or form on the Facebook platform. So that could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, but for purposes of this training, I'm gonna talk about Facebook. A warm audience is great when you have an offer that you want to sell to them or when you wanna to go to do a launch. A warm audience of those people who are interested in your brand but haven't really bought something yet. And so today, I'm gonna show you how to build that warm audience on Facebook by turning your Facebook Lives into a Facebook ad on the ad platform. And I'm not talking about hitting that boost button. <laughs> I am talking about creating a tried and true ad for your Facebook Live. So let's dive in. This is the back end of Facebook Ads Manager. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the create button right here. Once you are in this section, you have to choose an objective for your campaign. And so for this one, we're gonna choose video views because the goal isn't to actually get them to click through or to give you their email address. It's simply to get them to watch the video and interact with the video so that they then become part of your warm audience on Facebook. So we're gonna select video views. And we're not gonna test creative here. And so I like to do a weekly Facebook Live show. So I'm gonna just put video view slash uh, the date today, just so that I know that, hey, this is the day that I did it. I'm gonna hit continue. Now, this is the part where you get to define your audience. So if you have a fair amount of data, you're gonna want to go ahead and use a lookalike audience off of your website or your Facebook page or any of that information that you might have already uploaded to Facebook. If you're like, Jame, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. I will link some videos that you can reference around the different types of audiences. But for those of you who are just like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't wanna know what you're talking about. This create new audience is where you would go in and put the demographic information around your ideal client or avatar or the human that you are marketing to. So you'd pick your age group, say 28 to 56, you'd select the location, you'd select um, you know, all men, women, whichever you prefer. You'd put in English all, English UK, you'd select the language. And then this is where you can start to put in the demographics. So you could say parents, all parents, you could pick here. Also narrow this audience or make it bigger. So say like it, it has to be people that fit this demographic and must also be someone who is a homeowner. Um, or has a certain net worth or whatever. So this is like that area where the demographics, like they narrow the audience, they have kids and they shop at say Whole Foods. Yeah, so essentially you just kind of play around and you put all the information here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna choose our placement. So we cannot put this on the Instagram feed because the Instagram feed can only be six, 60 seconds long. We're gonna go through here. So essentially you're gonna have to remove a lot of the Instagram ones. So then you're gonna to wanna to choose what you want to optimize for the ad delivery, whether it's through play or two second video views continuous. I recommend through play because that's getting people to watch more of your video. Then what you can do here is either set a lifetime budget or a daily budget. When I take Facebook Lives and turn them into Facebook ads, I like to set a lifetime budget, which has a start and an end date. So you would say um, 30 days, I'm gonna run this particular video and I'm gonna spend $50 in total as an example. Then we're gonna go to the next page. Now, this is where it 
can get tricky for people. So what you want to do here is you want to, you don't want to click on this create ad section. You want to go to use existing post. And as you will see here, this, you can select posts. So what will happen is it will pull up content from your Facebook page and you can then click on whichever video you want to use to then create your ad. So I'm just going to use this one. This is an old one. I'm going to hit continue. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit generate automatically. This will go through and you want to read through this. This is going to create captions for your video. Then you're also going to want to add a button. So you're going to add a button. I always link people here to my freebie and then you hit update post. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of content in here. When you are taking a Facebook live and you are turning it into a ad, you want to make sure you have some context in terms of copy inside that you need to edit that prior to doing all of this stuff. I've just gotten into the habit of making this longer form copy so that I don't have to go back and forth and do that sort of stuff. So once you have these pieces in place, you can then go ahead and hit confirm. And that is the way in which you take a Facebook live and turn it into a Facebook ad to build your warm audience on Facebook. This is a super, super convenient, easy, simple way to grow that warm audience so that when you go to launch, you have lots of different ways in which to capture the attention of your ideal client. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, we are still offering our social media snapshots for only $47. You can head on over to socialmediasnapshot.com to grab one. These are a two to three page customized report for all of your social media platforms, all of your social media channels, and all of your marketing efforts. I personally write each and every single report. I have been told by many people they are worth like 10 times $47. Um, however, I really encourage you to grab them since they are custom. I only offer so many each week. And this is a really cool way to get some insight into your marketing from me. And it's a really inexpensive way to do so. So check out socialmediasnapshots.com. And thank you so much for tuning in and we'll have a great day.